I'm just pre-mixing some background colors. It's going to look sort of weird at first, but I'm trying to create kind of a vibrant background using some impressionistic uh, color theory. What I'll do is I'll put, uh, the sky is going to be kind of a, uh, a warm yellowish color as if it were sort of towards dusk, maybe it's a dusty sky, but, but I, I don't want it to be just a flat yellowish color. So I'm going to put a complementary color down first, which is kind of a, a lavender color, and I'll brush that on. Once it's uh, on, I'll put some yellow over the top of it, and I'll let some of this lavender color show through. And when they're close to the same value, because they are complementary colors or opposite on the color wheel, they'll kind of vibrate and give uh, some excitement, hopefully, to the sky so it's not just a flat color. At least that's his theory. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So you're saying what the you want it to pop. So over here, I mean, where are you going to put the yellow part? Is it going to be it'll over actually, the top it'll, of it? It'll actually go over the top, but every once in a while, some of this kind of lavender color will show through. So rather than just a flat color, it'll kind of be layers of color and little patches, swatches of color that play against each other. And your uh, okay. eye will kind of mix them when you stand at a distance rather than just mix them on my palette here. Some of them will be mixed by the viewer, just the way they look at yeah, it. Yeah, you'll be able to see some of it. 